episode of Keto on a Budget in the Trailer Park. Manufactured home community. Um, I just want to start off um, this video with, uh, I'm going to share something a little important with you guys. Um, I'm a former drug addict, and um, through the 80s and 90s, um, yeah, I had a pretty rough time. I ended up being homeless um, following the death of my mother. And then my, my dog and then my brother and it was it was just a bad bad time um, and why that's relevant I mean I've been clean since 2012 so yay me working on my master's degree now got my license back got baptized all that good stuff but um, I still have dreams about smoking crack and um, but what's ironic though is now that I've been doing keto I don't know a couple weeks now well, it's actually like the second attempt, but now I'm, I'm doing it right. And I have a friend of mine that's helping me along, you know, when I go grocery shopping. And that'll bring up my next point, which I'm going to get to. But, yeah, so now I have bad dreams about eating carbs. Like, I had a dream where I was trying to order a hamburger, and I couldn't get the guy to cook the hamburger. So I was, like, sneaking french fries and sticking them in my pocket. And then I was like, oh, okay, well, I got a few fries, and I'll take some onion rings, too. So, yeah, weird. Who would have ever thought keto would, uh, you know, a lack of carbs would affect me in the same fashion that that drugs did. But, yeah. Um, another thing, uh, I did try to do the chicken fingers. I, I brought that up briefly in the, in the last video. I think when I was making the chili, which I didn't really care for because it didn't have beans in it. I mean, it wasn't bad. But it just wasn't what I was expecting. So I just remade it. And this time I made it with a surprise ingredient to replace the beans, which was Cajun boiled peanuts. So we're going to find out how that turns out. But um, ugh, the chicken fingers were horrible. I tried the egg wash and coconut flour and uh, pork rind coating and fried them. And they just either burnt up or all the battering fell off. So... You know, and that's where you've got to try to tell yourself, you know, you can't really get too fancy on a keto diet because um, you're just going to be disappointed. Now, I've seen a lot of recipes. I'm not giving up. I'm going to try the chaffles. I got the cream cheese and stuff for chaffles. You'll see a ton of those recipes. And, um, and I think, if anything, if they're too eggy, I mean, I could still put some sugar-free syrup on them and it'd be kind of like diet um, French toast. So anyway, so here's what I got from the store. Me and me and my pup went, and he pooped on the floor. He's supposed to be a service dog. He's got his little vest, but um, we went to this. We got the, our ride came kind of earlier than I expected, and he didn't have time to go to the bathroom. And then he rode around in my jacket all throughout the store. And then as soon as I got to the checkout, I took him out, you know, to to pay, and. Little Junior here laid a poopies. And the Walmart lady, she, she walks up, she's like, do you need a paper towel? And I was like, huh? And then I looked, I was like, oh, yeah, that happened. <laughs> Poopy in the Walmart, PD. Ah. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I got a bunch of good stuff. Let's see, I got, um, Ooh, I got the chocolate, the baker's chocolate. It's horrible. I think I'm going to have to melt it down and add some stevia to it. But I got some cauliflower, chili seasoning, Swiss cheese, fresh mushrooms. I just made a huge salad to go with the chili with um, flaxseed, tomato, cucumber, onion, radishes, and I want to also get into something else I saw on YouTube. There's like a rutabaga radish mixture that um, highfalutin, low carb made, and it looks pretty good to me. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out. Let's see, I got uh, I got some cube steak. You know that's cool. Um, fried pork. I didn't see any pork rinds on. Did you put away pork rinds? No. Maybe I had. A, I just because I, I didn't have enough for the pork rinds, so I had to put them back. But um, yeah, and canned mushrooms. Uh, there's a bunch of Kool-Aid. 
I just take the Kool-Aid and mix it with stevia. It's great. And I do the same thing with tea. I got a big bag of salmon. The wild caught. Supposed to be better for you. Or something. Who knows. I just go by, you know, the advice I find online. Pork chops. I got um, turkey lunch meat and ham lunch meat. And it's kind of a bummer because the big pack of ham and turkey, the, the thickly sliced stuff, I don't like that stuff that's like shaved. It's gross. I mean, it's not gross. It's just like you can make like two sandwiches out of it and the whole dang thing's gone. So this way you go, you know, kind of use some portion control, but you still get that meaty texture you're looking for. So I, but the ones that they had were 95% lean. And then my friend was like, no, you don't want lean. You, you got to get the fatty stuff. So I was like, all right, well, so anyway, I was able to find the fatty stuff cheaper, but not as good a cut. But anyway, it's just sandwiches I'm having on, um, it's called lavish bread. It's like this flatbread special stuff you can find it at Walmart. Um, but yeah, I got, uh, oh, and yeah, the boiled peanuts, which were, were pretty cheap. Onion soup mix, because I love it in everything. Got me some Alfredo sauce. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the Alfredo sauce as of yet. Obviously, because I can't do pasta. But I can put them on squash and zucchini. So, more than likely, I'll do that. And I got pepperoni. So, I'm going to build another keto pizza with uh, pepperoni and some cheese and onions and mushrooms. Um, on the on the lavish bread. Which is great, again, because you can they're, they're like big sheets and you can cut them into four. See what else I got? Tuna. Oh, and Jello pudding. I got sugar-free pudding and Jello. I had the Jello last time. I didn't know that they sold sugar-free pudding that you mix and eat, so I'm excited about that. And also found out last week that um, Cool Whip is there's no carbs in Cool Whip. Now some people might tell you, like my friend said, well, okay, you do keto, but you do dirty keto. And the difference between you and me is. You do dirty keto, and I do clean keto, and I like feel like trailer trash, man. It's not dirty. I'm just poor. I spent, look at this. I mean, I got a lot of stuff. I spent $194, though, and that's not no chump change. But I got me some Parmesan. I didn't get the fresh kind of Parmesan. I wish I could afford that. But um, leg quarters, which I deboned the thighs. And just put the leg quarters up there. I'll probably cook the leg quarters like um, hot wings. Brown gravy mix I got. Again, that's fat. There's no carbs in brown gravy mix. But, you know, there, there are preservatives. So, if you're like a purist, then, then some of these items just really aren't for you. Brought me some yeast. Because I do. My, my buddy brings home um, lemons that are turning from work. And we make wine out of the lemons. And I couldn't believe it. Five pounds of sugar is now a dollar fifty-eight. Can you believe that? I, I remember when it was five dollars for five pounds of sugar. So that shows you how the you know people are trending to um, eat more healthy. So I guess that's a good thing. I didn't buy any because I still have brown sugar left anyway, and that's what we're using to um, you know for the yeast the yeast to um, turn the you know the lemon water into um, alcohol well in the sugar into alcohol and when it when it comes out after about 20 days it's just it tastes just like a dry dry wine like a Chardonnay or something like that um, I got a good deal on a two pack of cream cheese oh and a two pack of butter for just 588. I could do lots of butter. I mean, we have a big tub of margarine. I try to stay away from the margarine anymore. But, I mean, if we run out. Got a good deal on coffee. And I mixed that with the sugar-free hazelnut creamer. And, uh, and a scoop of chocolate powder. And you can just have it over. I like a iced coffee. But um, I've, I've also blended them into like a frappuccino. And it's super awesome. And there's no calories. So, uh, you know, as long as you can get just get past the... Um, aspartame or whatever they use in the sugar-free stuff which I don't have a problem with it I mean I'm a smoker you know I'm trying to eat healthy but you know baby steps 
I got the smoked almonds. I found a, a cheaper variety in the in the Walmart brand. See here what they um smoked almonds, six fifty eight. And my goodness, I had to put back the almond flour. I've been dying to get the almond flour because the coconut flour just never turns out for me. And it was like twelve dollars for three pounds of almond flour. So sugar goes down, almond flour shoots up. So that's kind of a bummer, but um, I guess that's about it for this update. I don't know. Um, I want to I want to come in and show you guys this chili when it gets done. So I might just edit that into this video, um, the reveal. You know, cause I'm gonna have a big salad and chili tonight, and and it looks like the real thing. So yeah. Um, oh, let me take off my grandpa glasses. I couldn't see without it. So, anyway, um, yep, yeah, short and sweet little video there. I'm gonna be getting into the into the chopples and having my low carb chili. And uh, but other than that, you know, gotta keep it simple. So you can also be affordable, especially for those of you who may live in the trailer park, manufactured home community. Oh, real, real quickly, y'all. Um, I meant to say uh, the the I took the drumsticks and put them separate, and then I deboned the thighs. So the the drumsticks are what I'm gonna cook like chicken wings. I've had them at BW3 before, so I'll just um just bake them or cook them in the air fryer, and then um, toss them in some hot sauce with butter, which is actually how how I used to work in a sports bar. So yeah, the medium sauce was um. Just Louisiana hot sauce mixed with half butter. And that's perfect for a keto diet because, you know, as we all know, the butter has the high fat, fat content and not that hydrogenated oil. Um, oh, the cucumber. Last time I bought cucumber, they all went bad real quick. So what I did is I, I went ahead and made my salad tonight. But then um, for the other two cucumbers, I went ahead and prepped and sliced them up. And put them in a bath of vinegar, sweetened with stevia, um, crushed garlic, you know, the kind that comes in liquid, uh, salt, and freshly ground black pepper, and onions, did I mention? So, um, yeah, it's kind of like a, you know, like a sweet pickle kind of flavor. I mean, I like them better that way than just plain cucumbers. Uh... And I guess that's about it. Oh, I did want to mention, I've lost 23 pounds. So, yes. Maybe you can tell um, in my face, if you look at the week one video, you know, I was talking about looking like a supermodel. Once I lose all this in my, you know, it seems like my, my face is the first thing that, that slims down. But actually, my friend said he could, he could tell that I've lost weight just by looking at me. So, yay, it's, even though it's dirty... I must be doing something right. So, I'm just going to interrupt one more time to get the chili in here when it's done cooking. And then I will upload this to YouTube for all of your viewing enjoyment. Um, so, I'll see you back here in a bit. Okay, y'all, I'm back. And here is the big reveal. This is my wonderful boiled peanut, Cajun boiled peanut chili. I mean, it's got onions and bell pepper, a couple cans of crushed tomatoes and a can of tomato sauce, a um, little bit of cheese on top, a spoonful of the, you know, the garlic that comes pre-minced in the jar. Oh, and a couple packs of chili seasoning. Very important. And I added, um, just because I like it on the spicy side, a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce. But it really turned out fantastic. I mean, you cannot, you don't... I'd swear it's a chili bean. You don't miss it at all. And I paired that with a salad. This has got sliced mushrooms and cucumber, fresh cheese, boiled egg, onion, radishes, celery, and just one carrot because we know carrots are kind of high in carbs. I mean, they're not too bad, but especially if you're counting macros, um, I guess that's important to you. But yeah, so 
check it out, you guys. Um, and if you're interested, I mean, I could put the recipe on paper. It's basically just my mom's old recipe. And instead of chili beans, I added boiled peanuts. But I am super impressed, and y'all got to try that. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Keto on a Budget in the Trailer Park. Manufacture home community. Peace out, y'all.